What's going on YouTube? This is Kevin here from TGI Tech Day. Here bringing you guys a tutorial of how to install Mac OS X Lion from a DVD. Today is July 21st. I just got Lion this morning. So I took the time to burn the install ESD DMG onto this DVD here. And I'm going to show you guys how to install this via a boot disk. So first we are going to shut down our computer, which will be done obviously like that. And now you're going to start up, but when you start up, you want to make sure you're holding on the option key, and this will br you'll see why in a minute. Push it, wait for the tone, or screen, and press option as soon as the screen lights up. And this will bring up your different partitions. Now you're going to take your disc and insert it into the side slot, which will be right here. And then you're going to wait for that to process, and wait for uh, the computer to read that disc. So now that the disk has showed up, we are going to scroll over and select Mac OS X, which is that startup disk that I just popped in there, and we will wait for this to load. So after about seven to eight minutes of that uh, Apple screen that you just saw near the end of that last clip, you will return to this screen. It will say Mac OS X Utilities. You have four different options. I'm sorry if you can't read that. My camera can't focus very well and I can't move it closer. It says Restore from Time Machine Backup, Reinstall Mac OS X, Get Help Online, or Disk Utility. We are going to select Disk Utility. It says Repair or Erase a Disk Using Disk Utility. So we're going to do that. We're going to erase our disk. Now, I should have warned you guys at the beginning, but you guys definitely, definitely should have made a backup of your computer. And I don't mean a Time Machine Backup. I mean a physical backup where you take pretty much all the contents of your computer, click and drag it onto an external hard drive so that you have a physical copy of your hard disk in case something might happen. So we are first going to select the top hard drive here, which is the internal drive of this. We will go over to this tab here where it says erase. And you will make sure you want to make sure it says Mac OS Extended Journal. That's just how it works best. I'm just going to name this Macintosh HD as I normally have. And now we're going to click Erase. And it will ask, do you want to erase the disk, blah, blah, blah. And it has two partitions, Mac, oh, Mac and Tosh HD and Bootcamp, which is the Windows partition I have on my computer. I don't use either, well, I don't use this computer that much anyway, so I'm just going to erase it. Again, I already did back up all the files that I did need, but this is uh, erasing the whole disk, the whole internal hard drive, and it is going to prep that for Lion. So once this is done, actually I think it is, we will continue back to this screen. Now we're going to go back to the second option and hit reinstall Mac OS X and it says set up and install a new copy of Line. That is what we're trying to do. Click that and hit continue and we will wait for the disk to finish whirring and turning and you know rotating its bay there. And we will see Mac OS 10 line to set up installation of Mac OS 10.7, click continue. So we will do that. And you have this license agreement, of course, which you will definitely read. And we will hit agree twice. And then we will select the disk, the uh, hard drive that we want to install us on, which will be the only disk that I have inside. We will click install. And this should take a while. It said it will download additional components and the computer re will restart automatically. So I'm going to cut the video here again. And then once it's done in about 23 minutes, is what it's saying, I will come back and show you guys the rest of the installation process. So now after that was done, it did take about the 20 some minutes I did say, we are going to restart the computer obviously, and this should, if, I've, if I'm correct, should boot right into line, right into the setup screen. So I guess I was wrong, apparently it's going to take about a few more minutes, about 20 minutes for it to actually install it onto the hard disk. I'm not sure what it was doing beforehand, but apparently it has to install the operating system now onto the disk so I will be back yet again whenever this is done installing. So now the installation has successfully been done, it says Mac OS X was installed on your hard drive disk, it, the computer will now restart. So here the computer is booting up, I think this should be the final boot up before I actually get to setting up the whole line operating system so we shall see in a few short moments just how exactly the boot up of the uh, Mac OS X line actually looks for the first time. And here we are, we will set the country region to United States, the US keyboard, since I live in the United States, and select Wi-Fi network. I'll wait for it to find mine. Oops, that's not it. Um, here it is.
click continue and we will wait for it to configure our computer and I want to not transfer right now I want it to be a nice fresh setup and I will type in my Apple ID and password I'll get right back to you so after you punch in your Apple ID and password you will come to the registration information thing you can fill this out if you want to but if you click continue without anything in it you can click continue so you don't have to register your product if you don't wish to do so so I will now um, punch in my account name and everything else I guess that's just how that's going to be and I'm not going to put a password for now and no and I will hit continue and then it will say you don't have a password blah 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 hit ok and password hint I think I can get away with that can I? yes I can so we are now going to create the computer account obviously and this should take not so long but we will soon see the startup of the operating system after this I believe I haven't seen a full boot yet um, from anyone really so we are going to choose from picture library let's just choose the eagle for now and I'm going to select the time zone which is eastern and don't want to use location click continue and it says this will teach how to scroll because the reversing is backwards I did install um, scroll reverse or reverse scrolling in snow leopard so I am quite used to this and we shall hit start up so now you can see this obviously is line does have this nice background just to prove to you guys this is launchpad right here it will give you the iPad or iOS esque uh, springboard kind of with folders that you can scroll through in case you make those it also has mission control so you can switch between your different virtual desktops using the three finger swipes to go back and forth between that comes with FaceTime it does and I believe that is all I can show you at the very moment but this is Mac OS 10 Lion and if you click about this Mac it will say I'll zoom in right here actually so as you can see here this is the the close-up of the about this Mac window you will see it does say version 10.7 and when you click on it, it will give you build number 11A511 now supposedly this you get this build number if you install line and then immediately connect to the internet supposedly if you don't you get build number 11A494 so I'm not sure if I can actually confirm this because I obviously installed it with internet so I'm not sure the other build number is true but I wouldn't worry too much if the build number is a little bit different I don't think it make a difference because you know eventually uh, when you update to the next operating uh, update, which will be, I guess, 10.7.1, everything will probably be on the same level again. And these are just some computer specs of my computer, obviously. So that has been the quick, or not so quick, but this has been the tutorial for how to install Mac OS X Lion using a boot disk. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned a lot. Hope you guys are able to install Line smoothly without any problems. Remember to just back up everything before you start in case anything goes wrong. Nothing went wrong, but I just have to load all the stuff I have back on from my external hard drive. Supposedly with this file, you can just double click the DMG and then you can, um, it'll just rewrite the operating system without removing your files. So I'll have to try that next time in a different video. But this has been how to install Mac OS X Line using a boot disk. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next tech day.